Moment of truth, guys. Guys, welcome back to Stone Block 3. In this episode, we're automating lava production, guys. So, I was thinking of the ways we can uh, generate lava, and um, one of the easy ways would be to make lava chickens. But, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to make any chickens. None. Guys, then there is the create way of uh, putting some cobble into a mixer superheated by a blaze burner. But you need blaze cake to superheat the blaze burner. And to make a blaze cake, you need lava, which, yeah, I don't think it works at this stage. Then there is the magma crucible from the thermal expansion. But guys, I'm sure you've seen it like a thousand times. Let's do something creative. So guys, my thinking is using the fire plows and automating this movement. I haven't tested it, but I'm sure it will work, guys. Let's see. Let's create. Nice. 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 Guys, so check this out. I think you'll understand everything perfectly and I'm amazed by its simplicity. Guys, so we're uh, making some wood in a copper botany pot. We will filter out the sticks, saplings and apples through a brass funnel and then we will drop the oak logs into the mechanical crafters which will make for two logs they make 16 sticks then these 16 sticks will drop down into three more mechanical crafters to make the fire plow recipe the fire plow will then drop into a deployer from the other side, we will have a cobble gen, making cobble dropping into lava or a heated fan. So basically the fan will make the cobble into stone and this stone will drop into the deployer. Of course we will need some filters. There. Here we don't need filters. Here we do need filters. Of course, we need filters here and here. Um, so yeah, guys, the idea seems very simple to me, but it amazes me. So let's do it, guys. All right, guys. One uh, problem I'm foreseeing is that uh, the deployer might deploy the stone on the lava. Hopefully this doesn't happen. Let's see. I, I'm always starting from the end. So, deployer like a so. This one will be... Oh, I don't have any stone anymore. This one will be placing stone. So, we need the smart shoot filtering stone. Let's see. I need to put it one higher. Can we do it like this? Ah, perfect. We don't need to place it higher. So this is where the lava is created. So stone will be placed here. By the deployer. I think it needs to be here. Then. Filter stone only. Now here we need the cobble gen dropping cobblestone. nice now we need to smelt it so we'll need some lava a heated fan a water meal and some water and some shafts be right back right so lava will be placed here oops 
encased fan. Oh, come on, fan. Like a soul. Uh, no. One back. Yep. Because I want three stone pressure plates to block the lava from going anywhere. Now. We need to power the fan. I got some water. Hmm. Wrong direction. Let's see if we can change this with the wrench. We should be able to. Well, yeah, I'm being stupid. <laughs> Give me one sec. All right. Change the Sulson placement and the water wheel direction. This should be good now. Perfect, guys. Perfect. All right, guys. Check this out. I've opened up the water wheel from the behind put two shafts into some uh, what do you call them mechanical belts in the gearbox extended the rotational force and now this thing is working so i believe we get some cobble smelt it into stone this thing now has stone. I'm just thinking that this thing might lag a lot. Hold on a sec. It's definitely a box in the create mode that lets you control how much items you have in it and you can Create a redstone signal. This is the one. Stockpile switch. So perhaps when we reach a certain point, we somehow block the dropping of cobble. Let's see. Let's actually test this. That is perfect, guys. That is amazing. Now, from this side, I will set up the fire blow. Right, guys. Again, starting from the end. Place the deployer. Let's have a, have a filter. Oh, that's nice. We don't need the shoot. No, we do need the shoot filter because otherwise it's, uh, it will uh, not smelt the cobble. Let's place a cobble here for safety. Fire pull into this one. And then I want three mechanical crafters just like so, but I want to test this. Will this give the fire flow to the deployer? Let's test it. We need two sticks. So. And we need some power. Hmm. We will also need the crafter slot cover. Nice. This will cover this spot. Perfect. Now, let's actually test it again. Nice. This works. All right. Then I want another shoot with two mechanical crafters facing in the shoot 
Perfect. This will be... Hold on a sec. This will be our stick maker. Just like so. And now we need the button it put on top. Alright guys, I put in the shoot. Gonna filter out logs. But I will use the storage controller. With four drawers. One for the saplings, one for the sticks, one for the apples and one for the logs. And I don't think we will run out of logs. What? I don't know, we'll see. And then place down the upper botany pot on the storage control controller fill it with dirt and an oak sapling and yeah i think this will keep up with itself all right guys i've got some bells going and uh, this is <laughs> not uh, a good setup but this is to test how everything will work let's see right oops no, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Last thing I need to test. Will I die? I died. Alright, guys. Let's see if this thing pumps out the lava fast enough. It does not. Now, how do we prevent this guy... From placing a block when there's lava. Hmm. Hmm. So guys, I'm having a bit of a problem. The mechanical pump seems. Oh no, I'm gonna die again. Deck. Oh. So the mechanical pump seems to be working. Once. See? And then... If I do this... The mechanical pump does not work anymore. And I'm not sure why. So guys, unfortunately, I couldn't make this work. And apparently, uh, the lava that is created by the fire blow needs to be um, updated. Like the pump does not understand there is lava there. But testing this on creative, I found, uh, yeah, I spent a few hours to be honest. And I was quite frustrated. And... And yeah, guys. This. A smart fluid pipe. Should... Work. Should make this work. Let's test it out. Moment of truth, guys. Wait, what? It worked. One bucket. Nice. <laughs> it works, guys. Two buckets. Alright guys, I'm going to beautify the whole thing and make it smaller. So I removed the shoots from the mechanical crafters and guys, if you have in the same 
problems like you see the wood just goes here and it doesn't go anywhere if you go behind the kind of kill crafters with your create range and just right click in the middle these two mechanical crafters will share input so there you go and this the same these three will share input so let's test this out before we go any further yes this doesn't work so you need to separate the two setups all right guys so i spent way too much time purifying the area but we got everything working so we just put one shoot here and this is now perfectly working so we got a, a botany hopper pot or botany pot going into a storage controller going into a filtered smart shoot uh draining logs the advanced uh, crafting mechanical crafter sorry the mechanical crafters then make sticks which then go down into the second set of mechanical crafters hold on a sec i think this is wrong wait i oh, know this is this should work this should work all right guys it's just i set up so many water wheels behind this that this thing appears to be working very fast can we see it crafting let me check yeah that's just uh that's just <laughs> way too fast but that's amazing, right, guys? So this smart fluid pipe helped us with the the whole thing, and now it sucks the lava, and it's gone. Also, the room is decorated from all the stone that I collected from this thing. I hope it doesn't lag me out. I might need to figure out um, something that stops from dropping so many items we'll see but anyways guys let's get back to it so the first thing the first mechanical crafter crafts the sticks the sticks go through a shoot into the second set of the mechanical crafters boom they make a fire plow this deployer then places the fire plow on the stone that is Hold on a sec, sorry guys, sorry. Interruptions, interruptions. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> nice. Um, and then from the other side we have some stone generation going. Uh, with a slow... Um, water wheel. Because I don't want the snow to be placed fast as this thing needs some time to suck the lava and the stone we're generating through cobble gen the cobble gen generating cobble and then smelting it with some encased fan into lava and boom you got stone and this is our infinite supply of lava guys 504 buckets hmm not that much guys is it Maybe we should extend that thing. That thing goes like 30, 30 levels. We'll see about that, guys. But anyways, guys, this is all I have time for today. I hope you really enjoyed the episode. And I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye.